Good evening and welcome to tonight's special performance live from a theatre somewhere in Malta. Now, in a few moments, we are going to enjoy a special new reworking of the 1922 classic silent film Nosferatu by F.W. Murnau. Now, some of you already know, a silent film is anything but silent. And there's nothing quite like sitting in a cinema surrounded by a live orchestra which is accompanying the film showing on the big screen. However, COVID. So we can't give you that, but we have thought up ways to help you enjoy the experience using something called binaural sound. But let me let tonight's performer, Chris Stingley, talk you through that. Chris, good evening. Chris, can you hear me? We seem to have a few problems. Uh, I did say this was live. Yep. Let's try again. Chris, are you there? Good evening. <laughs> sorry about that. I wasn't expecting it. Oh, oh sorry. Sorry. <laughs> didn't mean to give you such a fright. I, was, I didn't realise what started. Uh, well, I mean, it's... Friday 13th, after all. <laughs> <laughs> yes, well, you did give me a bit of a fright. Well, anyway, let's get down to tonight's performance. Yes, all right. Well, uh, welcome, everybody. Um, uh, uh, so I'm, I'm Chris Dingley, and today, tonight we're going to be talking about Nosferatu. Um, now, uh, uh, Chris Spiteri, the composer of tonight's music, uh, recently found some uh, snippets of, uh, of Nosferatu's score, inside another score, actually. It was Beethoven's Ninth Symphony. And uh, when Chris Spiteri found this, uh, these snippets, he realised he was onto something very, very rare. Because here's the thing about Nosferatu, here's a bit of film history. History. Nosferatu, the film, uh, was actually almost didn't exist at all because when it was released, um, Bram Stoker's widow claimed copyright. She said that uh, more, uh, more now, uh, who directed Nosferatu, stole her husband's ideas, and the German court agreed with her and ordered that all copies of the film be destroyed, as well as the score. So when Chris found these snippets of score, he realised that there was something quite special over here. And so he went to Festivals Malta and they came up with this whole idea and, to have, you know, they wanted a live orchestra and there were all the works and then COVID happened. Yeah, tell me about it, <laughs> which is why we had to make this festival virtual. Exactly, yeah, and Chris Meskin had to rethink his entire approach to the project. Now, what he did was he created an electronic score to the film, but he took it a step further. He also thought that we could have this, uh, these immersive sound effects uh, using a, a technique known as uh, binaural sound. And uh, we've, got our, we've got our Foley artist, Marco, who we'll be meeting in just uh, a minute. Incidentally, whilst we're talking about this, um, you should know that Marco and I have been in this theatre because of COVID. We've been alone in this theatre for two weeks, uh, working, uh, trying to stick to our, our bubble. Um, I mean, it's nice being here. It's a beautiful theatre, but it's a long time. Our sound designer, Sergio uh, Costa, is uh, working remotely, as is our videographer, um, Matthew Moscadrago. He's using a, a new camera that can uh, be worked remotely. So, hello, Matthew. <laughs> I guess you can see me. I can't see you. But anyway, yes, let's start off with a little bit of uh, Maltese film history, OK? Because, like you said, Pia, you were correct earlier when you said that silent movies are never were never actually silent. They always had music accompanying them. And over here today, we're going to use uh, something that comes from, uh, well, it's, it's multi-cinematic history that's also rather personal to you, if I understand correctly, because I've got with me a violin and, as well, it's a special violin, isn't it? Yes, Chris, this is a very special violin. It used to belong to my grandfather, my nonno, Isurju Saksisa. He used to own the Alhambra Theatre and play the violin. And so, when there weren't silent movies showing, he would cut tickets and then get his violin, go to the stage and play the violin during the movie. So what we're going to do is I'm going to play this violin that probably hasn't been played in about 60 years. Um, this same violin that was used to accompany silent movies at the Alhambra Cinema, we're going to use it over here. And we're going to play, I'm going to play a snippet now to see what it sounds like from uh, uh, Chris's score. So he, he, this, is, this is what it goes like. So. So 
So here, we're now we're going to play uh, a piece of the movie uh, with uh, Chris's score included in it as well. This is what it sounds like as a whole. Okay, so now it's time uh, for us to meet our Foley artist, Marco. Now, a Foley artist is somebody who's responsible for sound effects in a film or a movie. Things like um, uh, footsteps or even explosions. Now, this is Marco's first time as a Foley artist, so no pressure there. <laughs> Thank you, Chris. What have you got prepared for us, Marco? That's correct. We are going to experiment with binaural sound. As you can see here, here's my friend Kimi Covid and we have placed microphones inside his head. What we're going to try and do is we're going to make the sound go around you and inside your head. But first, make sure that you've put your headphones on, okay? If you haven't done so already, put your headphones on now. Sergio, are we ready to go? Yes, go ahead. Let's go. I am in your left ear. And now, I'm in your right. I am now behind you. And now, I'm in front of you. That is great. That's awesome. And what are all those things you've got on that, on that desk over there? These are my instruments. The instruments I use to make sound effects. For example, Plastic. What does that do? The pitter patter of rain. What do you think of that? Yeah, very good. Next up, bottle of water for the crackling sound of fire. How about a haircut? Scissors. That's great. I like the hairstyle that you chose to give him. I approve. Cool, huh? Now, for the sound of bats. And what's, is, 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 that a, is that a cleaver over there? I know you're not going to cook us any dinner, so what is, what's that doing there? That is a cleaver, which I will use with a melon, because that's the sound that cleaver makes when it goes through flesh. Wow. 
<laughs> okay. <laughs> Thank you, Marco. So uh, that's our, uh, our, our Foley lesson. Uh, let's get back to the movie now. Now, Nosferatu starts uh, with our hero, a guy called Hata. He's newly married, and the movie starts with show showing his blissful married life. And then he goes to work, where he works for a very strange man called Herr Nock. Well, that's all the music that Chris found for that section, so let's move on quickly to the journey to Transylvania.
I'm sure nowadays we'll all agree that the acting is a little bit hammy. But let's cut through the chase, and we've got our hero, Hutter. Uh, he arrives uh, in Transylvania, and in spite of the warnings of the locals, he proceeds to the castle of Nosferatu.
So as you can see, the character of Nosferatu is slightly different to what we are used to. Oh, great. Oh, no. Okay, I was hoping this wouldn't happen. Okay, this happens sometimes. We, uh, we overload the system, either if it rains or something. We hooked up some CCTV uh, cameras as well, just in case the batteries of this camera uh, run out. But I'm just going to go to the fuse box. Mark, hold the foot whilst I'm gone. I won't be a minute, okay? Thanks. Sorry about that. <laughs> Things happen in a live show. <laughs> okay, so, um, yeah, so we've reached um, act two of the film, and this is where sound effects really start to play an important part, which Marco here is gonna, he's not here. Um, oh, we must have gone to check the other fuse box. Doesn't matter. Um, tell you what, we'll roll the film and we'll talk about the sound effects after, okay? Right. So, as you probably heard, Marco's back because we had all those sound effects. Did you hear them? Or the... He... That's weird. Marco? Did you see that? Did, did you? Marco? Marco, switch on the lights! Marco, switch on the lights! This is not funny! Marco! Marco, are you here? I, I... This is a... What the hell? <laughs> Marco? Marco? Anyone here?
Hello? Hello? Did you see that? Did you see that? Guys, 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 guys. Guys, did you see that? Pia? Pia, Pia, can you hear me? Did you see that? Pia? Matt, 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 did you hear that? Matt, are you there? Are you there, Matt? Matt, can you hear me? Matt, Matt, are you there? Michael, Michael, this is enough, okay? I've had enough now, come on. This is, it's not funny anymore. Michael! All right, fine. I'm going, right, I'm, I'm, go I'm going, guys. All right, fine, I don't have to do this. I'm going, that's okay. I'm out, I'm out, I'm leaving! Thank <laughs> you. 
Yeah! <laughs>